Hello, Booktube. This is Fred, and you're watching Read by Fred. So this is a Book Trek 2023 update. What is Book Trek? Book Trek is a reading event, a three-month-long mission where we read Star Trek novels for Gen or June, July, and August. Uh, this event was created by Revenant Reads, and I will leave a link to his channel down below. As And there are a number of co-hosts for this event, and I will leave a link to all their channels down below as well. So for this one, this is just a quick update of what I read for the month of June and a, uh, a book haul. So just one book. So the book that I read was A Contest of Principles by Greg uh, Cox. I believe that's his name. And I'll put the image of the ebook up here for you. And this was a great read. It was a good read. Let's just keep it at that. So it was a good read. The premise was the Starship Enterprise is, to, is um, going to the planet Vox. So the planet Vok, after generations of military rule, is trying to create a democracy and have a democratic leader elected, someone that's more uh, peaceful, uh, not so militaristic. And this planet is currently has very bad relations with a neighboring planet, which is Alcazor, I think the name of the planet is. And they are fighting over a third planet, which they believe is their birth planet. And the birth planet's name escapes me right now but the enterprise is going there and james t kirk is responsible to uh, work with the ambassador to make sure or the federation ambassador to make sure that the elections are free and fair so they're just observers and they've got a satellite in orbit that will uh, receive all of the ballots that are being um, that are being made during the day of the election so that it's tamper proof it's out in space so nobody can tamper with it and it's Federation technology, so it allows the Federation to have to conduct an impartial uh, vote. Unfortunately, as the Enterprise is on the planet Vok, uh, there is a distress call from the third planet, the birth planet of both the Alkazites and the uh, the people from the planet Vok. And Doctor McCoy, Lute or Nurse Chapel, and a Lieutenant Levine are dispatched. And it is fever. It's some sort of fever. I can't remember the name of the fever. Unfortunately, it was a trap. Of course, it was a trap because that's the way Star Trek novels work. That's the way the Star Trek episodes work. And Dr. McCoy is kidnapped and taken to the planet Alkaz... I can't say the name. Alkazor? Ah, it's the third planet. and Where he is forced to uh, help the princess of that planet uh, because she has a very serious ailment and uh, it's debilitating and the royalty does not want the public to know about this illness so that's why he was kidnapped and brought there in secret so that he could secretly do something that the planet's doctors are not able to do and then Spock is dispatched to rescue Dr. McCoy so the book itself was only about 320 odd pages it was a good read but there are three separate stories going on. So you had the elections happening on the planet Vok. You had Dr. McCoy being kidnapped. And you had Spock conducting uh, searches to find and rescue Dr. McCoy. So three separate stories loosely intertwined with one another. And unfortunately, while it was a good novel, it was, uh, it was well done. Uh, it wasn't exactly a Star Trek the original series novel. You could have swapped out all of the original series characters and replaced them with the next generation characters. You know, Riker could have been conducting the uh, elections on the planet Vok while Picard stayed on the ship. Uh, Data could have been the one that was searching for the Doctor. And it could have been Dr. Pulaski or Dr. Crusher uh, who was kidnapped to help the princess. So the book was not aimed directly with the original series in mind, in my opinion. You just didn't have that sense of camaraderie that you do with the other Star Trek, the original series novels between Kirk, McCoy, and Spock. Uh, I read a couple others for Book Trek last year and the year before where you did really feel that sense of friendship between the three. And it was really evident in those novels. Unfortunately, in this novel, it wasn't as evident, which was unfortunate. But overall, I gave this book a three out of five stars. It was a good read. It, it just didn't feel like a Star Trek, the original series novel. So up next for me, I will be reading, I don't remember what it's called. Oh, and I'm only 20 pages in. What was it called? Give me a second. 
The Antares Maelstrom. And this is another book by Greg Cox. That's it. And these were great. I mean, I got lucky uh, when I started looking for Star Trek novels online. These were 99 cents on the Kobo website. Uh, so I picked up six of them. And I plan on... The plan was to read two a month. Unfortunately, for the month of June, I only got around to reading one. So I'm, I'm one behind schedule, but that's okay. I'll read what I, what I read. And uh, as long as I enjoy it, that's what counts. So the other book that I did pick up, uh, just came in the mail, is Night of the Living Trekkies. And this was written by, who wrote this? You'd think that they'd have the author on the front page, huh? Anderson and Stahl, that's the publisher. Oh, no. Anderson, so Kevin David Anderson and Sam Stahl are the actual authors. Uh, are lifelong science fiction geeks and proud of it. Mr. Anderson lives in California and Mr. Stahl lives in Indianapolis. So this is going to be a fun read. So I saw this book on Gareth's channel over at Books, Songs, and Other Magic, another Star Trek or Book Trek 2023 co-host. And I, he was talking about it and it just sounded fun. So there's a Star Trek convention going on. And uh, unfortunately, there's a virus out there that turns all of these Star Trek convention goers into zombies. So... Some of the folks that didn't get turned into zombies have to fight them off and survive their uh, battle with the Star Trek zombies. So this is going to be a fun little, you know, kitschy kind of horror read with a nice Star Trek bend to it. So I'm looking forward to reading this one. I, I'll i probably get to this one in August. Um, this month I'll be reading 1984 from George Orwell. There's a reading event going on. If you're interested in reading 1984 with us, please check out Another Bibliophile Reads, Greg's channel. I'll leave a link to his channel down below in his introduction video. But yeah, so Night of the Living Trekkies, I'm looking forward to reading this one when I get around to it. It's going to be a fun read. Anyways, are you taking part in Book Trek 2023? If so, let me know down in the comments below which books you've read so far and if you've enjoyed them. And if you're not, uh, if you haven't started taking part in Book Trek 2023, why don't you consider joining? You just have to read one Star Trek novel. That's it. One Star Trek novel. And if you want, maybe a, sci a non-fiction science-related book. Anyways, that is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. This is Fred, and you're watching Read by Fred.